Every once in a while, one of those stories comes along where the red light goes off and you suddenly understand what's going on just beneath the surface. It all makes sense. That happened today. So the administration recently suggested it wants to pull American troops out of Syria, now that ISIS has been crushed, and the official mission has been achieved. How did Washington react to this, the idea that our troops might come home? Totally outraged. Senator Lindsey Graham, the Republican of South Carolina, called that, quote, the single worst decision the president could make. Others imputed darker motives. A writer called Amy Siskin tweeted this, quote, after our military discuss sending in more troops, Trump suddenly and unilaterally decides to pull our troops out. Who does this help? Hint, Putin. Unilaterally. Hilarious. He's the president. Well, CNN and The Washington Post, of course, made the same claim. If you don't support yet another foreign war with no clear objective or end date, you're in league with our enemies. You're unpatriotic. They tell us that American troops absolutely have to be fighting in Syria. Okay, you've heard that for years. But at the same time, they tell us that American troops absolutely should not be protecting America's own borders. The Trump administration has signed an executive order deploying the National Guard to the Mexican border, part of an effort to halt illegal immigration. The people in charge, all of them, hate this idea. It's illegal, they say. The Congressional Hispanic Caucus issued a statement today saying that's wasteful. Of course, that's not their real concern, obviously. According to one NBC analyst, it, quote, carries the noxious whiff of military rule. Huh. So at the very least, these two stories, juxtaposed to each other, butted back to back, are clarifying. In the eyes of the geniuses in charge, our military does not exist for national defense. You thought otherwise. They don't think that. Our military, they believe, exists only for the defense of other countries. In recent years, we have spent hundreds of millions of dollars helping Jordan, Egypt, Israel, Libya, other countries protect their borders. That's great, says the panel on Morning Joe. But defending our own borders is a crime against humanity. Your son is welcome to die in Syria, as one American soldier already has. That's patriotic. But defending America? Totally and completely immoral. Who put these people in charge exactly? You know exactly what they think of the country, not much. David DeFerry is a former State Department official. He joins us now. David, I, these two stories really tell you everything. You have people, bipartisan, it's not just Democrats at all, saying we have a moral obligation to keep the borders of Syria intact. We don't want unauthorized people coming into Syria, the Kurds, the Persians, we got to keep them out. But to use our military to protect our borders, that's the whiff of military rule. It's immoral. How does that work? Well, that's not why we have U.S. soldiers in Syria. It's not to protect the borders. It's primarily to fight terrorism. In fact, to fight ISIS. I was just in Iraq three weeks ago again. When I was there, what I saw is that ISIS is almost defeated. It's lost its territory in Iraq. It's lost its territory in Syria. But remember, it was created out of Syria. So it's a precarious situation. Moreover, the fundamental reasons why ISIS came into being are not gone yet. There are still divisions in Iraq, divisions in Syria problems with the government that created ISIS. And therefore, we need to be there to finish the job with ISIS. We'll but more importantly... But, but actually, did, did the U.S. government and our 2,000 troops or the Assad government do more to fight ISIS? Oh, wait, let me answer that question. And I know that Nikki Haley is telling us, it's a living hell and Assad is Satan. But actually, bad guy did a lot to fight ISIS. I mean, let's be honest about that. He's done very little to fight ISIS, oh, Tucker. Okay, In fact, right. many think that he's also partly responsible for letting ISIS be there because it's a it's a convenient foe to many have who are the ones in who Syria. That? But let's go back to who, Trump. Who thinks let's go back to Trump's policy on okay. Syria because it started quite well. Uh -huh. In February 2017, he did airstrikes on Assad because Assad used chemical weapons. It looked like he was going to actually I, I don't diverge that's true. That's from... That's never been proved. I think that's it is absolutely yet more propaganda. No, it absolutely has not been proved. We had no one on the ground to verify that as of the moment that we sent airstrikes into Syria in retaliation. We didn't. There no American verified that. I don't know that we know that that's true. It's like one of these things that all smart people are, oh, it's true. Are you unpatriotic? Are you for Putin? No, I, I don't I don't believe that's true, actually. Tucker, all of the reporting from the ground oh, suggests the, it's there true. Was no and including from the doctors who examined the victims of Assad said it's true. Oh, Ameri fact, oh American doctors. President Trump right. and the Republican administration believed it was true. That's why they did I couldn't agree more, and, and I and I was skeptical when that happened because my job is not to ratify every decision Trump makes, but to explain what I think is right for our country. So why is it we spent two thousand two thousand troops into Syria in the middle of a conflict we don't even understand, 
but it's immoral to send them to keep the invasion on our southern border from continuing into our country? I don't. How does that work? Let's talk about Syria first, and then we'll talk about well, we're the almost troops out going of time. to the border. Just, so the troops are in Syria for very important reasons. Remember, these are special forces troops, so they're not doing all the fighting. They're some of our best fighters, but they're also training the indigenous forces in Syria, and they made a lot of progress working yeah. with oh, the yeah. Syrian Kurds. Okay, and the Syrian Kurds are our friends. Great, great for and the, the Syrian, Syrian Kurds have put so their excited for the lives Kurds. on the line to fight ISIS with us. And if we pull out suddenly, we're leaving them to be okay, killed by ISIS. How about the ISIS Southern Californians who were born in this country? Okay, let's talk about Including Mexico. me. I'm a native Southern Californian. No one is looking out for my interests because I'm not a Syrian Kurd. You're right. We have every right to protect our border. And President Trump put forward a border pr proposal with a budget to Congress in order to do that. He failed to push that through. It was a failure in leadership. So why is with it a immoral Republican to protect Congress. our country with it, our military? I, it's not immoral. It is moral to protect our country. If we have to, if there's a crisis situation, we should protect our country with our military. But the, you the, got 11 million people living here legally? That's not force, a crisis? The appropriate force to protect the border is the Border Patrol, which comes under the Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> and President Trump put forward a proposal <laughs> to fund them, and he should be able to push that through Congress. Uh, so and the if he can't, the left he wants shouldn't to abolish treat, ICE. He should not treat a situation that's not a crisis as uh, a crisis. Not the you crisis. In, not the You bring crisis. in the National Guard not when the you crisis have crisis. Not the Syrian Kurds. I want my son to go fight. I'm Half the Syrian Kurds. I no, just, I'm just fight that ISIS, right, ISIS, okay. which is responsible for deaths in America and across Europe. Yeah, that's, that's who we're fighting. Okay, I appreciate it, David. Thank you. Thank you. On the left, you may have noticed everything is about race. Everything, even things that have nothing to do with race. Most things are about economics, by the way. Doesn't matter. One channel is calling the president a racist for mocking Barack Obama. Part of a long theme. We'll get to it in a minute.